Welcome to Narambi again. You'll see there's some big differences. Started on the grass, it's very patchy, it needs more going over, and eventually I will probably do that static grass thing, but for the time being it's just to get some colour down, I'm happy enough. Okay. The uh, inspection pit forward slash ash pit dump, you'll see, I've added real ash, but that ash colour is paint because the real ash was more of a brown. So I've tried to get that, well, that sort of look, I guess. Uh, there's been developments over here. We started to get the actual scene on the go. These are just plonked down for effect. I may replace them with rail, don't know yet. Um, now this bit, it's not fixed down yet. There's going to be another two terraces here. But rather than using the Kestrel kits, which I like, I'm going to design my own, which I've already started, so they're going to look a bit different, but they're going to look similar. So that will kind of simulate my own street, because I live in a terrace, and the houses adjacent are not always the same design, even though they fit in with the overall scene. That gap is because this was there, and it was too wide. So I've since moved it and I'll have to fill that gap with some more pavement later. Um, because I didn't get these things out to actually plan the roads, I just guessed it and I was completely wrong. These are so much small. In Mr Bean's car, how small is that? Cute. And that's also why there's grass here. Because on the inside of the pavement, the initial plan was to have a wall and it just looks too spacious. So what we're going to do now is, um, I'm going to rip up that masking tape, and then later on I'll put a wall in by the grass. So, there we go. I can pad down, remove, or add bits later to neaten it. So now I've got a nice sharp edge with which to put a wall. Great. Looks pretty good to me. These buildings not finished yet, nor these. I need downpipes and a bit more paint. You see I've actually modelled the door open there. Okay, I've literally scored it with a knife loads of times until it popped open. And I was lucky. I didn't have to go look back on it, just bent it where I wanted it. So that was, that was kind of nice. And these buildings also don't move. Because, you see, there's little holes and brass pins, if it focuses. Right. Very simple. There you go. That's all it is. Just glued some brass pins in. There's a bit of a bugger to locate, especially when holding the camera. Well, I'll do it later, but you get the idea. Stops from being knocked over, it allows you to put them where you want, and for the future I can remove them for my lighting. So that's good. So the next job will be continue doing the walls here, terraces, and eventually I'll get round to doing this. I'm probably going to buy the Meccano kit. That's what I think I'm going to do. And um, again, this perimeter wall will probably continue across here, and uh, so on. A little change of plan here, I was going to have a cattle dock. The cattle dock is going to be moved to about here on the platform and then you can have a little coal staves here. Ignoring the argument that whether they were always sort of like this, back to back against train lines. Well, there's photographs of the real things back to back against lines and there's photographs of the real things miles away from the lines, so you can have either. But I'm going to stick them here because for this trap plan and the way the road's going to be here, it's the only thing that makes sense because you're going to have a good shift there. Right, very short, 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 short update. But I shall leave it there, because that's basically all there is to show. Hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that crap. Okay, bye-bye.